This video is about supporting action, video one. So let me just remind everybody with the video we recorded, maybe one of the first video we recorded, is that in the platform today, we can manage portfolio, which is at this time limited to basically executive dashboard, performance chart and reporting. We have the program management where we can set up a program and manage the program across its life cycle. We have the project management where again, same thing, we can have the project set up and manage the project across its life cycle. In the administrative, we have the knowledge portal and a root guide and chat and like client library and, and community discussion. So mostly community, not, not anything project management specific in terms of action to manage project program or portfolio. They're just support knowledge. And so most everything is supporting tools. Now supporting tools by the time we are finished with the envisioned uh, roadmap, we would have 25 modules in here. They're split among seven different categories at this time, and we might consolidate them into six categories. But in general, how do you find them? Because it, it might take some time to get uh, before you are really fast on this. So let me just give you an idea of how we segregated these things for the time being. Core control is typically everything we consider traditional project management in terms of scope, cost, schedule management, which include in this case, earned value management and change management and forecasting. So there are six modules that will be here. Forecasting, it doesn't exist yet. The other module exists today, but mostly in a simplified way. They need to be rebuilt, all, all of them. But under core control are the areas that are essential to managing a project that maybe it will help you remember what goes in here. Uh, people aspect, anything related to people, team management, stakeholder, communication, and later on, we might add time, uh, time tracking as well in here. Uncertainty is risk management and opportunity management, which we will add in the future, but also issues because issues, we see them as things that are need to be resolved, right? In a way similar, they're not exactly like risk. Uh, risk are anticipated issues or things that could happen in the future where issues are, are issues, things that are we already know that we need to solve. So we put it under uncertainty. Then we talk about physical resources that as purchasing contract management and the resource management, all of this are future. They don't exist in the platform yet. Then compliance. And usually this is about things that re relate to complying with some kind of specification, code, laws. And so under here, we have the sustainability management. Although may not be so far, there are some uh, rules and laws today about this, but even if it is not necessarily a law in many places, we still consider sustainability is really complying with some kind of a standard and quality management and health, safety, security, and environmental management as well. And those are features. Sustainability management is available today. Then we have what we call support, such as task management, capture lessons learned, document management, and we have governance, which is benefit management in the future, funding and success. Funding exists today as a simplified module. Success is a, a already built module. <clears throat> so with this, we'll give you an idea about what exists in these areas. Now, how do you use them? Uh, that could be very tricky and it might be even better in, uh, in a training session. But basically, as we manage project or program across the life cycle, along that life cycle, things to happen. For example, cost con uh, control, cost, right? We need to estimate project. Uh, there are co right now we don't have built everything else, but we have, like for example, a box in this case for uh, the project that we are working on, uh, and that it shows that we have an estimate one. Later on, we could have another box here for estimate two when it's open, because these things are. What's tricky about them is when do they open and when they close, right? Uh, each one of them, there, there is a bit of governance and control in the platform that dictate when certain modules, certain things are open or closed, and usually that often link to the gates. Uh, so uh, in, uh, in most project, uh, in small, simple project and micro project, uh, usually the co this box, the first box you see here, it's open when we have, uh, when we start a project. And however, estimate two, it will not open until later. They are ruled, but so depend on the, on the tailored method uh, that de decide that 
trigger when something will be open or locked. And notice now this is locked because we have already approved the stage gate that where this was developed, so we cannot edit it. So this is the idea of control. Now, one thing I want to mention here as well is these two buttons here. The first one, for example, you can hide and show, right? It basically is show or hide the project profile information. So it show you a summary of what the project, right? But once you are working on the project, you might not want to keep seeing this. I mean, unless you are working on multiple projects, you might want to keep this open because that would be a reminder always to tell you, to, to kind of just ground you, to tell you where are you, right? Which project are you working on? Because if you work on multiple, multiple projects, it can get quite confusing. Uh, but let's say if you are working on one project consistently, you can hide this. Then this is about just description. So this is more of what, what do we believe right now as it exists today? And of course, in the future, as it's changed, we can change this. What is this module is all about? So this is just a description of information uh, for you to read on your own. And this, these two button here, uh, they would be existing in, in, all, in most, if not all these modules, right? So, so it's very important when you are in the project you will be going through. What I will be ending, I will be ending this video now. And in future video, we will talk about the modules that have been completed already, that been completed meaning redesigned. Uh, and so we can have uh, a, a, a dedicated video for each of those topics.